Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad, uh, welcome to Rad Kutarot, and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading April 1st to April 6th, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Sagittarius in the last time. And for that reason, the reading is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Sagittarius. If you want a, a personal reading, meaning your personal situation, to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to um, give you a prediction for it for its future, that is a subject for a private reading. And uh, for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings which are starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being set aside, going to the Sagittarius uh, weekly tarot reading, the first card that is going to be uh, the, um, the death card, which is marking the topic of your week, followed by uh, the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the Ace of Cups. Followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation we do have the Magician. And the last card, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow here the Guidance of Tarot, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. So what we do have, once again, uh, the situation is the Death card, followed by the negative approach, that is to be the Ace of Cups. Then what we do have is the positive approach, that is to be the Magician. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth. This is going to be the um, Four of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, it does look like guys that the things are going to majorly change for the better here throughout the weeks, April, throughout the, throughout the week, April 1st to April 6th, 2019 for you. And the only thing that it is required from you really looking at these cards is to put the toils behind the change and not to resist the change in general. So uh, the death card is does, everybody knows that the death card does relate to change, but the, the there are many cards in Tarot that relates to change, but specifically the death card, it is about, um, how can I place it? Uh, it does relate to that everything is gonna be in flux and desperately will, will require the change here to happen so a new life can spring from what is old and outdated, meaning that you will be required to abandon outdated positions, outdated relationships, or, you know, outdated states, in general states of life, that is, maybe outdated habits as well, and so on and so forth. The thing with the death card is that it is about a, a, a triversion into a new era into one's life, meaning that should you be single, the era of being single is ending, and now a new life comes around, which is a, a new relationship comes around. The, if you are jobless, same thing goes uh, regarding being jobless, you know, new proposition for a job may come around, which is to mark the ending of an era you being jobless and as well it could represent traversing into a new level meaning you know you end the level uh, of one relationship where is dating and now you go to start living together or being promoted and so on and so forth uh, it could as well relate to separation also you know it, it is changed so you no longer be with this uh, with this partner, for example, into one relationship, or you are no longer in this job, for example, you have been suspended and so on and so forth. Now, if that's the case, it's very important not to mourn about it because in that case, the death is about substitution. So one thing is going to substitute itself for something much better. The thing is that whatever is going away from one's life marked by the death card, it means that no longer one can benefit from that thing. So for example, if a relationship is coming to an ending, no, uh, you couldn't benefit from that relationship any longer or the, uh, the, that relationship reached its, its maximum, its epogee, its, its uh, literature term, in, uh, term here which um, marks the crest, the peak, the summit of one enterprise and from there everything just downgrades, you know, and that's why that thing ends because it's, it's literally is dead, there is no advance whatsoever, so the dead comes around, takes it away so a new life on its place can embark. 
the accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, the Empress formation is uh, passive friends. So the Empress here points uh, uh, adds a huge amount of maturity that you are to have, and whatever the the the, the death comes around, or rather like the change starts to happen for you, uh, Sagittarius is. It seems that you are to withdraw yourself a bit of the midst of activity, so you can analyze well the situation, and when you come back into it, you can make those well-defined, firm, balanced and mature decision required in order to reap positive fruits from your labor because the Empress, it is one of the cards pointing that you are to reap whatever you sown, either good or bad. And in this case, it will benefit you if you once again approach this thing mature uh, in a huge portion of maturity and decide in favor of a, a long-term goal or in the favor of the new life that comes around and uh, uh, you know takes place of something that it is uh, almost over or it is on a borrowed time. Uh, the death card has a Latin expression, which I am very bad in, in quoting, and simply says, uh, I think it's vita, vita mutator non tolitor, I think it's called, and it simply means uh, life is changing, it is not taken away. So even if, for example, that is an ending of a marriage or an ending of a, uh, of a job, once again, life is just changing, it is not taken away, meaning that the next one is going to be even more productive. So this is what I meant here when I said that you should not resist the change that it has happened, you should not aim to borrow its time. Um, the negative approach to the situation that is the Ace of Cups, a little bit of a p peculiar card really in this uh, situation. But uh, to me, what it means in this follow up is that the future is going to be just as good as you make it. OK, so um, let's say you accept the change. Let's say that, you know, you separate with, uh, with your long term uh, a partner into a relationship. That is the very grim interpretation. And, uh, you know, you accept the change, but in the same time, you don't do anything to provoke a new relationship in your life. Then a new relationship is not going to happen. It's going to be substituted or there will be a, a chance to be substituted. But if you don't do anything about it, then you are going to miss your chance thus far. After that, another one may come around, but you are to miss the straightaway substitution. That is the point of the Ace of Cups here. So what it means that you should not hope for a miraculously positive unfoldment that happens on its own accord, but only if you put the toils behind it, either career-wise and either relationship-wise as well. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, temperance, so formation is uh, passive, new, uh, passive enemies. And simply what, what happens here is, is that um, this change could cut, you, could cut you a bit unprepared, you know, and a bit in an awkward state and point where you will have to tackle with um, a lot of chores okay and a lot of um, seemingly unpleasant endeavors at least at the start but the more you tackle with those endeavors guys the more you are to uh, basically exhilarate yourself with the productivity you are to exert either career-wise or personal life that is as well the thing is that uh, the more painful should it be painful? It's not going to be painful for everybody of you, Sagittarius. For someone, for some of you, it's going to be a very, very positive change. But as a general reading, I have to cover up as well, you know, the negative side of it, which could be a, a change that marks ending and a beginning. So the more painful, for example, this ending is, the more determined you should be, you know, to, um, to basically substitute that thing for another. For example, uh, once again, the relationship ends, well, immediately after that, you need to start going out, you know, and associate yourself with different people so you can meet sweeter and so you can start dating once again. So uh, you can basically kill fire with fire or fight fire with fire. If the change is positive one, uh, for example, you get promoted, you know, well, in this case, you are to have a lot of chore to tackle uh, in there 
chores that you haven't imagined that this position will involve as well. But the more you tackle with those chores, the more you are going to consolidate or solidify yourself at the place, realizing that this place can be sustained only by a hard work and not by a chance itself. Which leads us to the second, to the third card here, that is the magician and what you should do regarding the topic, which is death. So first, um, first thing is that you need to believe and show your great amount of personal sovereignty as well as the iron will you do possess to simply seek the best uh, that it is out there for you. Meaning, if we go with the grim interpretation, ending of a relationship or a job, well, that should not slumber your spirit, but instead you need to determine for yourself that you do deserve better than this, okay? And immediately start searching for a better job or for a, a better person. Uh, additionally to that, the, the magician points that whatever actions you do take regarding this change should be supported with extreme determination here and iron will as well. You should not breed any kind of hesitancy in there. What I mean is that people are going to look at you, okay? They're going to observe you and any kind of hesitation is going to be taken as a weakness and you don't want to present yourself weak in this, uh, in this situation. No crying, for example, no pitying oneself. Uh, and, and as well, you know, no isolation as well, and so on and so forth. Also with the Magician card, if you can take it, if you can use or kind of put into use your communicational skills, negotiating, asking for certain things, because if you don't ask, the answer always is going to be no. That will breed an excellent result as well for yourself. Even the death card could point a, a, a stirring of a situation where you, uh, your, for example, your unemployed period of ends, you know, and you do have a couple of uh, propositions to start a job. Well, start researching with the, uh, with the magician, reconnoiter about those couple of jobs. You know, put your communicational skills into matter into into the matters call into the both places ask what the, the what the job is all about negotiate your salary and so on and so forth the accompanied card here that is the knights of uh, pentacles the um combo here it is a active uh, enemies and it simply means guys that there is no time for resting there is no time for being slow and methodical now is the time to truly uh, give the hundred percent a maximum of yourself to improve your circumstances as the night it is um a very methodical and very meticulous person here as a positive outlook it does mean that you do have a room for error you don't have to be a a, a flawless with your performance to be recognized and as well uh, on a positive end these cards are pointing that you are to find something substantial for your life that you haven't anticipated basically you had you didn't have it in mind but as it as it emerges itself, you are to recognize it as a, a very uh, valuable addition to your current arsenal of means that are making you happy as well. And what happens out of it here, we do have the Four of Pentacles at the end, the final outcome of growth. Well, you are to establish yourself into a, a very, very comfortable position. Um, so you are to define a very solid uh, comfort zone here with the Four of Pentacles. Needless to, sell, uh, to say that uh, this card, it is a, a very positive for making money. But one thing that the card says is that should you focus on the monetary success alone, you know, that will create a, a lonely and empty, an empty existence. So if you are chasing money, cooperation is going to be a, a good thing with this card. And the best thing of the Four of Pentacles as a outcome of growth is that you are to ensure your stable future, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. The accompanied card that is the uh, Queen of uh, Cups and things are getting even better here with this uh, passive, uh, passive uh, friends. It does mean that um, 
you are to solidify on your emotions uh, you are not gonna feel despondent any longer should the death card manifest in a negative way meaning something is gonna be taken away uh, from your life the substitution is gonna be successful here the replacement is gonna be successful and you are going to feel extremely exhilarated and emotionally fulfilled from that thing because it's going to once again ensure your stable and predictable future as well where you're gonna feel extremely extremely comfortable in. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 1st to April 6th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, this was a general reading for Sagittarius star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different level and is going to relate to different things for every single different Sagittarius. But if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to predict and to give it a prediction for its future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricings, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing up now. See you next time. Bye.